Hi, this is Shady. Today I have something to discuss with you and there is two things. The first one being the leg grabs and the second one being the open weight category. So these two will provide two things. The first one being obviously a spectacular judo and the second one is a little bit more of a realistic yet traditional judo. So as you see here, someone is far bigger than the other, goes down and goes for the leg and gets an incredible lift. This is the god of judo, Kyuzo Mifune. So first, let's talk about leg grabs and why they should be a thing. Because in when it comes to leg grabs, you have people who are just much taller. And when you remove something like the leg grabs, they become immune to a lot of techniques. One of them being Teddy Rene. So having leg grabs is really having someone that should really have their defense studied from top to bottom and also their attacks as well so this technique that you just saw is called morote gari so reaping with both hands so you pull the legs towards you as you drive forward again if someone is very tall like rene or any other judoka they are not immune to everything but you are giving them an advantage once you remove the leg grabs let's see here another one this is absolutely insane a scooping throw so the height difference the weight difference and still manages to get the win so if you don't have anything locked like the grips like the posture everything you are going to lose so this will give I would say an equal chance to everyone and also give a spectacular judo and for self-defense reasons your arsenal should be bigger so a scooping throw can come from a counter to uchimata as you are seeing here or it can be simply just scooping up the leg or two legs at the same time scooping up and slamming down not to be confused with the previous technique as you just pull towards you and drive forward there's no pickups so and if you have leg grabs you also see these beautiful counters like this one this is craig fallon so as he goes for the leg an upper body grip and a leg grip he tra transforms it into one of the most beautiful uchimata and here is another example positions his leg and then reaps the thigh from the inside as he is hooking the arm as in Uchimata Makikomi. So again, just because you can go for the leg, it doesn't mean that this attack is also bulletproof. Uh, if one thing you should know about Judo is that there is no such thing as perfect or bulletproof. And here is a great example of that. Now, let's transition into the open weight category. So the open weight category was something I believe that ended around the early 2010s and it was something that would provide everyone with a spectacular judo. I know now the IJF and the Olympics, they want to create a you know, uh, spectator-friendly judo. But I would say if anything will create a spectator-friendly spectator judo, it's the open weight category. Now, I know that in the plus 100 or the plus 78, because they're somewhat open weight, you still see beautiful throws against much larger opponents but if you have an open weight category like in japan and the all japan or their um, team tournaments or high school tournaments or university tournaments where uh, weight caps do not exist you will see far more beautiful judo and also very beautiful counters not just attacks it's great to see a giant fall after they attempt to take the little one down and also it's great to see a small judoka take down a much bigger judoka with ease and makes it look so easy like this one here the lift of this throw is absolutely insane so for all the reasons being sports self-defense whether you want to transition to anything else like mma or any other type of grappling sport leg grabs and open weight categories is your go-to to create a far more wholesome judo um, in my opinion so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content 
This was Shadi and thank you for listening.